join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytales for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the finale of season two of The Legend of Korra. This is episode 14, Light in the Dark. This is where everything's going to come to a very exciting conclusion, and I really can't wait. Korra has been separated by Unalak from Rava and her connection with the other Avatar spirits. And Unalak has fused with Vatu and everything's crazy. So let's see how this ends. I cannot wait. I love this show. I love this universe, this world. And yeah, we still have two more seasons to go after this, which is really exciting. All right, guys, enjoy. General Iroh, are your ships in position? Yes, Mr. President, but I need to know what kind of enemy we're dealing with. Spirits? Oh. Oh. It's time to take back the physical world. Hell no. <laughs> what? What is this? It's like a kaiju. That's not going to do anything to him. Dang, we should watch a kaiju movie. Let's watch some Godzilla or something. Oh, no, don't do that. Well, at least he didn't break it. They can put it back. Where is Jinora? Thank goodness you're all okay. Where are the twins at? When Vatu destroyed Rava, he destroyed my connection to the past avatars too. I'm the last avatar. I'm so sorry, Tenzin. <laughs> I know it's not true, but can you imagine the cycle ends with you? Like you're the you're the one that failed? Man, first it was the last airbender, now it's the last avatar. Man, the stakes are high in this. Jeez. We need more Beifong in uh the next seasons. I don't understand. What does he get out of this? Why does Unalak want to do this? Oh! Julie, commence Operation Winged Freedom! Do the thing! <laughs> do the thing! <laughs> there may still be a way for you to stop Vatu. Let go of your attachment to who you think you are and connect with your inner spirit. Rava is gone. Rava is not who you are. This is the tree of time. The ancients would meditate beneath this tree and connect with the great cosmic energy of the universe. Don't bend the elements, but the energy within yourself. You really think I can do this? I have no doubt. Thank you for not giving up on me. I'm proud of you. Aww. Find the light in the dark. Oh, that's so neat looking. Uh, how? Explica me. What? Uh, what did you say to her exactly? <laughs> Believe in yourself. Believe in the me that believes in you. Wait, how is she super sized? I'm confused. Cora's back. And she's a blue giant! And where's Jinora? What? Is it because she meditated in the tree? You're looking for something that is gone. Rava has been destroyed. Rava can never be completely destroyed. Yes. Leave my golem alone. 
I am so done with spirits. Same. Eska! I love you! Let's face the end of the world together! You're so romantic. <laughs> you know, I mean, I like Bolin with Eska. I, I like Bolin when he's not Nuk Tuk. I'm glad that's all over. There she is! Let's go! Mommy, it's Denora! She's beautiful. <gasps> Be careful, sweetie! <laughs> no! Cool. What did Denora do? Let's go. You deserve it. You deserve everything that's coming to you. Go in peace. We must return to the spirit world so we can fuse once again. guys help us on the way I'll see you soon dad okay hope she went back to her body because <laughs> it's about time grand grand I missed you ah Cora saved the world Rob is so big. Yay! Her avatar spirit has returned. I have so many questions. <laughs> Where's Vatu? Where's Unalak? And what was Janora doing? And what the hell was that that Korra did? I'm sorry about your father. I couldn't save him. But I will not miss him at all. In the end, he became a deplorable man. Agreed. So how about you move to Republic City with me? I do not think that will be possible. Desna and I must return home. But you will always hold a special place in the organ that pumps my blood. <laughs> Bumju, you're okay. I missed you, little buddy. Aww. Are you also reconnected to your past lives? No. I think that link is gone forever. No. He'll be back. Season three, come on. What if Unalak was right when he said the Avatar shouldn't be a bridge between the two worlds? What if humans and spirits weren't meant to live apart? What do you think I should do? You are the Avatar. Whatever your decision, I support you. Well, th I mean, this is a big change. There's something I've been wanting to tell you about that fight we had. Oh, at the end of the season, you're... I, I broke up with you. I remember. Being inside the Tree of Time brought it back. I think we both know that this, us, doesn't work. You're right. It's over. What? For real this time. Uh... I mean, if it's over, then why are you still kissing him? I'll always love you, Cora. And I'll always love you. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, so this could work. And the Southern Council of Elders has appointed my father, Tonrock, to be your new chief. Humans can now physically enter the spirit world and spirits will be free to roam our world. Humans and spirits must learn to live together. Things will never be the same again. We are entering a new age. Hey. <laughs> Loved you. Wow, okay. Season two.
that that was a lot that was a whole lot i have i still have questions so i guess unalak is just he's dead i think he's gone of course darkness can never be completely eradicated so vatu still lives on a tiny bit of him probably lives on inside rava and will i guess grow until the next harmonic convergence in ten thousand more years I just have a lot of questions about like where I, I feel like the end of this season feels like a very big like to be continued like there's just so much that's left open I mean I know with Korra and Mako at least for now or possibly forever it seems to have closed closed the book on their relationship and while I would have loved for it to work between them I guess clearly it wasn't and I really hope that they don't bring this back <laughs> again in one of the upcoming seasons like will they won't they I think that um now since since that's over I'm gonna go for Korra and and General Iroh how about that and Mako can be with Asami Varric is running free again off to create some more mischief no more nuck tuck that's a big plus and the world is changed and it's just man or has lost her connection to the past avatars but i do hope that we will bring that back i wonder what the next season's gonna be focused on <gasps> I am excited. I feel like Cora is making it so she's got her work cut out for her. There are going to be humans in the spirit world, spirits in the human world, and that just seems like a lot to manage, a lot of things that can go wrong, and I'm a little bit worried about that. But hopefully it'll go well, at least for a while. Definitely the two beginnings episodes were the highlight of this season even more so than this finale this finale really feels like i guess maybe i was kind of confused about a lot of things like i'm not really sure what Janora actually did like is there still more that we don't know about her some things she can do it's like she came and she brought some light light energy i i don't know what did she do and then how come when Korra went in the tree, she could get all big even though she wasn't avatarized? Could Tenzin go in the tree and have all that energy going on? Or was it because the harmonic convergence was kind of happening that that was possible? Because at that point, she was just a regular waterbender, I would assume. So yeah, I love how Janora came in and helped, but I wish I would have understood better exactly what she did. Besides just float down, bright light, she's holding this light and then they win. I don't know. <laughs> Please help me. I did really enjoy this season, but I'm feeling a little lost about the finale here. But man, there was definitely some high points and I am excited for the future. And I hope you guys are too. Thank you guys again for watching. Please tell me your thoughts about season two, about this finale and... Make sure, don't say any spoilers, of course, for season three and season four. Don't even hint at anything because I will watch it soon enough. But let me know what you thought about season two and season one so far. Everything that we've seen, tell me everything. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys for season three of The Legend of Korra very soon. All right, bye-bye.